talk to me I really wanna know what you Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing good today. I see the chat is already cracking. Y'all got the gifts and the memes. Man, it is a lot going on, y'all. And we've been talking about all of this stuff off and on all day in the Discord. Um, a lot of things that are coming down the pipeline. And I wanted, you know, to have an open discussion with you guys about your thoughts, your feelings. Um the AI takeover is officially here. And while I come from a tech background, you guys know this, I did IT for years. And while I love tech, I love social media, I love certain aspects of, you know, what we've been able to create. But then there's also another aspect that's just extremely frightening because it's like, how far does the rabbit hole go? You know, and... We went from almost joking years ago. Remember, this was the biggest joke on social media. Eventually, the robots will take all of these low-skilled workers, all of you nasty fast food people with horrible attitudes. And I'm not saying, I'm just saying like the discussions that were on social media. Oh, when I go to McDonald's, they always have an attitude. I can't wait till the robots replace them. Remember, that was a lot of people's attitudes back then, is that, you know, robots would be replacing all of these, quote unquote, low skill workers, people who didn't want to go and get a degree or get a certification, people who weren't working in tech or, you know, blue collar jobs. And now we fast forward to 2023 and the main people who are being laid off right now is the tech sector. I'm being told that on LinkedIn, there are literally people on there crying. They're looking for jobs. Microsoft has already laid, laid off over 10,000 people. They laid off about 2,700 people today. Google has laid off thousands of people. Facebook has laid off thousands. We know Silicon Valley right now, they're going through it. They're laying off so many people in IT, it is ridiculous. So it's very interesting how... We went from being conditioned, thinking that it would be, quote unquote, low skilled workers being replaced. But the people who are really being replaced are people in higher paying positions. And coming from tech, I almost feel like they used these tech people, IT people, coders, um, web developers. They use all of these people to develop open AI, chat GPT only for them to find out the same, you know, device that you guys have been working on for the past few years is now your replacement. And so people are scared now because at this point, there's really no safe jobs. We have AI out here now. Um, it just dropped yesterday where somebody created an AI that can mimic anybody's voice. They have been able to mimic Kanye West's voice and now they have Kanye West singing Day and Night, which was originally a Kid Cudi song. And it sounds just like Kanye. So this means that even entertainers, rappers, singers, influencers are not safe. Somebody posted in Discord that now if you want to get headshots and you don't feel like going to a photographer and booking an appointment, you can now send a selfie of yourself to... Um, open AI, and they will create a professional model acting headshot for you. When I tell you these headshots look like literally you were in front of a real photographer and they shot you. And all you did was submit a selfie. So now you got photographers who can easily be replaced. So it's a lot of stuff to just kind of digest and think about. And one of the things I was thinking earlier today is how did we get here? Okay. And that's because I don't have any solutions right now, but I always want to think like, how did we get to this point where now a lot of people are even saying at their jobs, their bosses 
their, you know, management team are having discussions about AI and how AI could take their position. Because let's say you work in billing. Now you have AI that can do billing in less than 10 minutes where this same job is taking you an entire day. So you have people who own companies who are now feeling like, well, why do I need to pay a writer to write a blog or to write up, you know, um, notes and stuff like that, where now I can have AI do it for a fraction of the price, okay? So you have a lot of people now who are looking at their bottom line because the economy is getting really bad. But I think about my journey on social media and having been on here for, you know, a long time. I've seen a lot of trends come and go. I've seen a lot of things. And when I think about how we got here, and I talked about this when we talked about the nursing shortage, we went before social media, before this whole thing where people would just rant, rave, talk. We respected most jobs, right? You know, even as kids, you knew that you worked at McDonald's, you might drop fries for a while, but that was just, you know, just to get some money while in high school, eventually you'd move on. And back then, it was okay to work blue collar. It was okay to work in construction. It was okay to be a plumber. It was okay to be an electrician. It was okay to do customer service. Then somehow, we got conditioned into thinking that these jobs were beneath people and everybody had to participate in hustle culture. If you're not out here hustling, if you're not a girl boss, if you're not an entrepreneur, if you're not making money, if you're not driving a Lambo, you're not shit. Think about how many people over the years sold so many people on social media this dream. And what people weren't thinking is the only reason why these fools are able to drive around in Lambos and make all this money, they're making it from selling you the gullible courses four thousand to two thousand dollars a pop and more see like the phases that united states goes through like with the indoctrination of our people so like you said they made it to where the kids and stuff and the, they don't don't nobody want to learn nothing and get their hands dirty and all the mechanics jobs and, and farming we don't know how to do it so now that we don't know how to do it um and nobody wants to do it they're going to start talking about this digital currency and this, you see the reparations they're talking about they want to give us this universal income. So they cool with us not knowing this stuff. Yep, universal basic income. Right. Because mm -hmm. now that we got this universal income, they're going to uh, say first, they're going to give it to black people, reparations. Everybody else is going to get mad. Like you said, everybody's oppressed. Well, what about us, the Asians? Oh, y'all cool too? Let's give, them, let's give them some universal income. So now everybody's getting paid. We got AI in these jobs. So we're, now they control. Now they just basically got control of everything now. So I just see it going in phases. They're going to be able to throw this Bitcoin and digital currency at us to kind of change the monetary system so we don't be mad that everybody's getting new money and kind of reset that way. That's what I think is going on. And today I had a meeting with my manager and one other person. And my manager casually said, I noticed that there's um, a bit of slow responses across our team. Um, I feel like bots can do this. I, I feel like we can replace people with bots. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering where's the critical thinking skills? Because mm -hmm. if we're not using more critical thinking skills, should we just use bots like bigger companies do? Um, and that, that set an alarm in my head, right? Because my company has told us, hey, so... There's no need to worry. I know you see these layoffs here and there. There's no need to worry at the moment, right? Um, but we're, we're holding out budget it, when it comes to things like, oh, we want to do like a, a team outing or go here as a team. Our budget is more of a concern. So even if our company's not telling us that we're not in hot water, there's, I feel like these conversations are being had by the the you know, the, the upper, exactly the higher ups. That's the word I was looking for. The higher ups. So in my opinion, mm -hmm. what I can see coming down, down the pipeline and possibly soon within the next few years, because my job, I work with, with clients, right? Mostly through email, but I also get on calls um, and I help them understand data. But I could see, for example, a job like mine being done by AI. Because if you just, the same way that like these, um, 
mm-hmm. like artwork AI, right? You, you just you just feed them different people's artwork, different pe- different things from the internet, and they can produce something. I feel like eventually you'll be able to do that with anything. How do we monitor AI? How do we train it? How do we make sure that AI is not running amok? And those are all going to be new jobs. So my question is, who is we? You know, is it these people with nefarious intentions? Is it the elite? You know, you just started talking about Bill Gates and how he just fired his whole ethics team at Microsoft. So hypothetically, if AI is learning the mindsets of these people with hidden agenda with hidden agendas and continuing to push society in one direction and, you know, praise the people who are on board, you know, um, you know, I know you've mentioned uh, China's social credit system while at the same time suppressing and maybe in an extreme case, punishing Mm -hmm. the individuals who disagree with this mindset, you know, we can get rid of all these other high paying jobs, but there will always be physical labor for people to do like building houses and building, you know, FEMA camps or just whatever they're going to make people feel (laughs) in the future. So I thought that was very interesting that they said that that was one sector that the robots aren't able to do yet is the physical labor part. So let me ask you guys, in Europe and France, where you're at particularly, are you guys having issues Mm -hmm. like we are here in America as well with AI, the whole AI takeover? Is it starting to affect you guys in Europe or not yet? Exactly. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Yes. So um, not completely. I think it's the beginning. And I think it's the youth, actually. The youth is quite aware of what's happening. And in some sectors, I guess, mm-hmm. the students and stuff. But yeah, so mostly the students. But for example, and that's what I wanted to tell you. Um, my first point was, for example, you know me, I uh, I told you when I joined the Discord that um, I am learning web development. So I used to be, so I, I learned stuff and now I'm um, Uh uh, applying to get a job and for example just to tell you now it's uh, midnight one o'clock in the morning tomorrow at eight in the morning I have a job interview to be a web developer I had a job interview last week so I have many job interviews to be web developer and I wanted to say that just because it's the only uh, positive (laughs) point in uh, this whole thing (laughs) is that even if AI is here, I think because just to uh, make uh, to make a long story short, when AI um, it it was Mm -hmm. like last month, okay, when I realized the power of GPT, I really wanted to cry because I was like, what the fuck? I invested like two or three years of my uh, uh, life (laughs) into learning in learning IT. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and now I could have a job and GPT is stealing it from me. What? So I really, I was so, not depressed because I'm not depressed, but I was so sad. I wanted to cry. And actually, I saw videos on YouTube and people saying, okay, this is true. GPT is super strong. And now we have GPT-4. It's crazy. It can code better than me. Absolutely. I know that. And better than many people. Of course, yes, we know that. But mm-hmm. positive point is that, and that's why uh, I might get a job very soon. I have this interview tomorrow. Everything is so uh, is going very well because people see. That's why Thank I you. really just love what you do, just giving us all this information. So we're not just, you know, just, you know, being just getting uh just not being able to think critically and just being lazy and not being able to really read between the lines because it's really important because it's it makes us college kids because i'll graduate i graduate next year Mm -hmm. and i'm just like am i going to be able to even get a job is it going to pay enough am i going to be able to move out do i have to move like out of california don't mind doing that but there's so many like Thoughts of like, well, what if there's another pandemic? What if there's a new pandemic? Right. And it's called the out. I, I make this joke all the time. I'm like, what if there's another pandemic and it's called the outage? And they'd be like, Taylor, what are you talking about? And I'm like, like, what if we don't have access to the internet? What if there's an internet outage and we're just, there's no, there's no internet? Then what? How am I going to get a job? How am I going to apply for a job? There's no paper resumes. And we were talking about the mass firing. And I said to him, I was like, do you think that Um, like the tech jobs will turn into like a minimum wage job. Is that what they're trying to do? And he said just about, because he kind of works with Mm. like higher ups too. Because if you Mm. think about it, 
when I was in school, I think, well, this was some time ago, but when I was in school, I'm 27, we were learning how to write in cursive, right? And I know what I was told that cursive was a form of writing faster. Um, by the time I got to third grade, I knew how to type without looking on, with, like looking at the keyboard and everything because it was taught to us. So what I noticed is they're like kind of influencing more children to be on like technology, to learn how to uh, work computers, to learn how to code. So when they come out of school, they can just hurry up and find those tech jobs. Like for instance, you have the McDonald's that's um, that has robots working them. Somebody has to control the robots and they don't have to pay someone um, a six figure salary if they teach them early and you don't have to get uh, you don't have to be mm. educated. So, that's um, a good point. 